Hi, so this is my Rails project for my Freiheit School uh, web development course. Um, so basically, what I've created here is an appointment uh, setter for uh, physicians uh, so that they can actually set um, appointments for their patients. Uh, they, they're able to sign up, uh, sign in, log in with a third party app uh, like Facebook using Omnioff. Um, which I have to jump here. And uh, because I'm using Facebook as my third party login, I'm using the Rails thin server um, to run the app. Um, I also have the gem for uh, Slug, which is friendly ID, which I'm that's, that's the one I'm using. Um, I'm using Bicrypt for has secure passwords. Um, what else? Um, so storing all my um, uh, Facebook key and password and keeping them in the git ignore so it doesn't get pushed onto GitHub. Um, so let's start with how the app runs. Basically, um, it starts with the welcome controller, which is my index page. Um, for my index page, um, we look at my views. Uh, this is my index page, which is basically here. You got you got the welcome welcome to appointment ID, and then I got an image which I'm storing in my assets in my image here, and I'm using it in um, my application um, right here in my layout. Yep. Right here, so it, it gets uh, shown on every page basically. Now let's just get started. So here, for example, if I were to create a physician, um, well, let, let me go back and tell you my databases first. So in my in my schema, I have four tables. First table being uh, my patients and my physicians because they have different attributes um, when they sign up. I'm trying to, I'm going to only have the physicians be able to sign up with the third party app and not the patients for now. Um, as you can see, uh, the, the physician does not have to have an age or does not have to have a date of birth. While the physician has a specialty which um, the patient does not need. And then we have the appointment, which is basically the joint table for the patients and the physicians, which has a date and time, which only the physician can uh, create a new appointment. So based on who's logged in, uh, the, the, the workflow is going to check uh, if it's a physician logged in, they're able to create a new um, uh, appointment. But if it's a, a patient, they're only able to view the appointment um, and not create one. And then you got the friendly ID, which is the slug uh, table. Um, Basically, it slugs on the the um, patient or wh whatever is passed on. Um, so let's create a physician. Here we got to sign in. We basically just need a password and an uh, email. So let's do Dr. B, as you can see, I have a space, and the space basically gets uh, slugged by the front ID gem. I'm just going to create a very simple password. Let's sign up. Oh, see, um, so because I have the validation that it's an email, uh, it, re it actually recognizes that I need an email, not a name. So now I'm actually just signing in. Okay. Um, first I have to sign up. So I obviously Dr. B does not exist. I was on the wrong page. So we got a sign up page. Um, so that's a good thing. We know that it didn't let me sign up because um, I wasn't 
I, I wasn't signed up yet, so I wasn't able to sign in. So here we go, talk to B. 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 I'm just going to put a general physician. I'm going to put a Okay. So here we sign up. So at this point, we're basically at the, we were at our uh, sessions controller. Uh, we are creating a new session. Uh, well, first we were creating a new position. Um, you'll check for, um, you'll, you'll basically store the new position in a position variable. Um, and if the current physician, if it, it was created, it'll say you already have an account. If not, it will re redirect it to the physician's path, which is the current physician, which is basically here, uh, your the physician's homepage. If not, it will say you cannot create a physician account if, and get redirected to the patient's um, uh, page, which will be the new patient. Um, and for example, it, once it's get created and it's able to save, um, it only gets saved because I have my um, I have a private method here, class method, which is the phys uh, physician's param. It needs a name, uh, email, a uh, specialty, uh, password. Um, so once that's created, then you know it's a physician. If, if you don't have that uh, params, then you know it's not a physician. And if, if it's not a physician, and it's not a patient, it gets redirected to the, the root path, which is basically the index page. So here we have, once that's created, we also create the uh, params, uh, the uh, session, I'm sorry. Uh, and we go to the session controller and uh, create the session ID as well. So it checks for uh, sessions email if it's present, um, param, the session password is present, and it's going to find um, the physician or the patient by through the email session email, which is basically the uh, physician email or the patient email. And if the physician and the physician authenticate uh, a password uh, is true, then it will log in the physician which is a, a helper method to my right here. Log in, if it's physician, current physician, which current physician is here, at current physician, if it finds physician by ID, a session ID, which is physician ID, it's um, not empty. Or uh, if it's, a, it basically checks if it's a physician or a patient and it's, 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 um, it's able to find it by its ID, session ID. So once that's done, um, basically it gets redirected to the physician path, which is basically um, your view page now at my physician. So we are a physician, so we've got a new physician. We did that. So that was our sign up page. And after that, we come back to our, our show page. So on, on my show page, I have some partial views. Um, so if it's a current physician, it goes to the, the physician that's logged in. The current physician is basically uh, checking with the session physician ID. So if the, 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 uh, the, the physician variable is equal to the current a uh, 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 physician ID is equal to the session ID, uh, which is the current physician, it will say, well, come to your homepage. It will render the, the partial view um, the, using locals, which is uh, at physician. And so let's go here. It shows you your name, which is the physician name here. You have your specialty render it, and then you have, um, if it's the current, no, if it's the current page, um, current page is a, it's a, it's a class method that um, it's from Rails that you get. It basically um, shows the action where it came from. So if, if for example, here um, it came from the physician controller, and the action was um, a, a show action. I mean, a post uh, get action. So it will it will basically show you your um, email address, which is a physician email address. So that's what's showing here, and then from there, it's going back to our uh, show page, 
which is now, if again, if it's the current position, it will basically, uh, you're able to view your appointments, right? And it's, it's a, basically a link, and the link is will be to the physician appointment path, which will go to the appointments um, and check for the, uh, the, the params passed in is the physician ID. Um, and also you can create a new appointment, uh, edit your personal information, which is basically the doctor's information. Now this, this stuff will only show, uh, it's, in the, it's wrapped in the if statement. Um, and then if th there's another if statement here, which is basically if it's the current physician um, and the appointments are not nil. So it would basically show you your current appointments. If the doctor has any appointments, uh, it will go back to the a partial view, uh, loop through the appointments array um, variable, which I've, I'll show you in a second, which is in my uh, appointments controller. Uh, goes goes into my view, uh, appointments view page, uh, sets the local basically um, the variable which is um, I set it to a um, key and then the pushed in the value to be a. Um, so let's 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 just, well it's not showing here but if it was you would actually be able to it would actually send you to um, right here, it would actually send you here, which you will be able to see the date of your appointment, the time of the appointment. So that's the local that gets, gets passed in here. And in this page here, basically, we, we'll come back to that in a minute uh, once we get into some, some of them that have uh, appointments. So we were on our physician show page here. So as you can see, it says um, in the bottom, um, So in the bottom, you have the link to, to view all physicians. Um, and that logout is actually from our um, main layout application, HTML uh, ERB page. Uh, so you can just, let's say we want to view all physicians, we click that. So these are all your physicians in your appointment MD. Um, see the name and the physician, and you can click on them to actually, so this page here is actually in our our uh, right here. So it's our index, uh, physician index page. Basically it creates a loop, uh, it goes back to the partial, uh, which is here in the view, and it's showing you your name, your specialty, and if it's current page, uh, which for example right now, this is a good example, um, it's not, um, you're not the doctor, so it's not showing you your email. Um, so let's say we wanna watch, look at this, you can see now <coughs> in in once you click that uh, you want to view the physician yep so here the link to view uh, full details of physician it basically goes to the the uh, physician controller uh, with the physician um, so it it shows you that physician's page. Um, in, in this point here, so here you have the physician view because your this page does not belong to you, so it does not say welcome to your home page because you're not the uh, current physician, right? Um, so basically, it just shows you this information. It does not show you to view your appointments or create a new appointment because you're not the doctor here. So let's log out from here and sign up as sign up as a patient. So let me do patient one. Let's do email patient one at Yahoo H seventy one. That's a very old patient. And let's do one seven seventeen nineteen oh five. So we signed up as a patient here. Basically it's the same thing in our, our patient controller. We create a new patient. Um, if, it's, if, if they have an account, it will show the flash notice. Um, so in, in my flash notice, I basically, if you go to 
my patient partial form. Here I have the patient errors um, and the full, uh, if there are any errors in the name, it basically prints out uh, the error, full error, a uh, full messages for um, method uh, for name, which is basically also here, it shows you what it, it basically does. Um, it's a generic thing uh, that, that prints out. You can customize it to, to whatever you want. Um, but I prefer to, to just make it, leave it as is for now. So here we are on our show page, which is the patient profile page. You have the name, you have the age, you have the date of birth, the email. And then if, you're, if the current patient has appointments, it'll basically show you um, uh, view appointments. Or if you're a current patient, you actually can um, edit the appointments. Now here's the cool thing also. I created a scope method which is in my models, in my uh, appointments. So the scope method I created was, is called uh, upcoming, where it checks for the date, uh, today's date and up to two weeks, um, if there's any appointments uh, for that patient or the, or, or the um, uh, physician uh, through, through my, my controller here. So for example, in my show page, I have my current patient equals to patient and appointments equals to appointment upcoming where patient ID. So it checks for the appointment patient ID to see if there's any appointments there. And um, it's the scope method basically just scopes down the appointments that are only uh, in the next two weeks. So going back to my, going back to my show page here. So it basically checks that with the patient ID if there's any appointments coming up and it would basically show up uh, you have appointments in two weeks if they do have appointments if they don't then just like the way it's showing right now it basically says um, you have no upcoming appointment so so you have no appointments that's basically what the physician can do I mean the patient can do they can either edit their information or view the appointments view their appointments but if we go back in right and let's assume, let me now here, I'm logging in with my, my Facebook account, which I had logged in before. If I didn't, it would actually ask me to sign in to my Facebook account and show me, show me this page here. <coughs> so for example, here, I actually created a appointment. Um, so here, here it is uh, with the, the third party app uh, for Facebook. So I have my, my, private method, which is the art method. Um, I request the army off from the third party app. Uh, it loops through it. I get the name, the email, there's an image. And then because I, I don't get a password from them, I'm using secure random uh, with a limit of six. Uh, so it creates a random password uh, up to six um, um, letters or numbers. Um, and saves that in their password uh, columns in, in the table, in the database table. And then it logs in the physician, which is basically the session ID, uh, session, session ID, and redirects them to the patient path. So in that, in that sense, it redirects them to the patient path. Now we, we go back to our show page here, current uh, physician ID, same thing with the upcoming uh, the scope method. If not appointments are gonna be nil, uh, shows the physician page here which we are here. So it says, welcome to your homepage. Same thing, I, the reason why I did this, I wanted to show you actually the upcoming appointments. So here we have a patient named Frank Doe. I can view the full details of the appointment. Um, you have the date, the time, the patient name, physician. Uh, I can, as a physician, as you can see, I can edit the appointment. The patient was not able to do that. Um, here I can see the patient, I can click on the patient. Uh, and it shows you uh, this patient actually have the appointment, which is a good, actually a very good example here as well, which, which I wasn't able to show you before was the uh, appointment, upcoming appointments. So you have the patient, you can be able to see the upcoming home appointments in the two weeks as well. Um, you're able to, so as you see here, because I am not the current patient logged in, 
I am the physician. If I click on edit uh, info, it would not let me edit it. It will send me back to my homepage. I can view all the physicians. I can view the names and email addresses. Um, I can also here create a new appointment. So let's create one here. I'm going to make the time. Let's just do 12.30 p.m. So because the physician, I cannot create an appointment for another a phys a physician. I can only create appointments for myself. So here, where I am is basically in, me, in my appointments new, which is, again, I'm putting into a partial because I don't want to rewrite code uh, over and over again. So I'm putting only the information which I need separately, and then the ones I can reuse, I put them in partial forms. So in this case here, I am setting up the uh, physician ID to be current physician name, and it's a hidden uh, field with the value of the current physician ID. So that makes it to be uh, this name right here. And then the patient, I can select from a patient, a list of patient, which here I'm doing the collection select method. Um, which basically takes the collection ID, uh, the, the patient ID, uh, takes patient and uh, does the active record where it organizes it by ascending uh, order, uh, as you can see, A, B, C, F. And then before you click any of the names, you can, it shows you select a patient because I included a, a blank or select a patient. Um, let's just say we create patient, test patient one. And here I can book the appointment. So as the physician is logged in, I can actually create an appointment. Now we can view all appointments. I can see all my appointments that I have currently. I can click on them. Um, I mean, I can also add a back um, link here, which I didn't, but uh, I could do that if I want to. Um, yeah, um, what else? I can edit my personal info which will basically update it through my uh, uh, controllers. If it's the patient, it will go to the patient controller. If it's the physician, it goes to the physician controller. Um, and I have, I have uh, flash notices if, if it's successfully updated, which in this case, will, it matches um, the, the strict params here with the uh, physician params. If it doesn't, then it will show you the message of the error updating, which are cust basically custom. You can leave them um, uh, to be generic if you want. But uh, I added what I want to actually print out to show the, show the, the, the client. The... What else? Um, so just a little bit of uh, logic. I, I guess I can just go over a little bit more. Uh, in terms of logic so we create i can so when they log out it basically comes here I, i'll show you my routes as well uh, i have a nested route which are in my config file uh, so basically i have the the root file the root route is the welcome index uh, which is you know your controller welcome and it's the index and then the resources basically takes all of your routes, right? Uh, your, your, your create, your update, your edit, your, your show page, uh, all of them um, are there. It, and you can, you can specify what you want to show, what you don't want to show by doing the accept or only um, uh, writing that in. So for, for example, here I have a nested route under for, for patient, uh, except for index, uh, appointments will be shown um, to patients under um, besides the index. I don't want to show the uh, patients all of the appointments, only theirs, right? Um, here I have the physicians; they are able to see all of the all of the uh, appointments. I can also do um, uh, the same thing as the above, where I only show. I accept the index. I don't necessarily have to show all the physicians, all the appointments. But uh, here I have the in the sign-in, I have session new, 
it posts to create, uh, to log out, you basically sessions destroy, which I was showing you earlier with my, in my controller, which is basically right here. And then you have, these are my OMI off the, the third party, uh, the callback. And uh, if it's a failure, it goes back to the sessions new. If not, it basically creates, goes to sessions create. Right, sessions create, uh, and here it would create the uh, the new position. So here we can create, show, edit, update. So in my my position, I have also have defined position, which is using the friendly. Um, friendly is again is the slug uh, params ID. The same thing here with the patient. And the same thing here with the find appointment. Appointments are basically um, appointment ID. There's no name to it. So it's just a number. Uh, those numbers are not separated. It's just created when you, when the physician creates a uh, the appointment. So it's not customized to like having an appointment name or appointment email. So I didn't have to do the friendly there. Um, I think uh, that's about it. Uh, let's see my models real quick. So I have my, um, again, I have my has many relationships uh, and then a many to many where, where's the patients through appointments because the physician does not need to know the appointment of uh, the patients. Uh, it just needs to know the patients when they have appointments with them. You have here, it belongs, appointments belongs to a physician and belongs to a patient. Uh, Valid is that it has um, a physician ID and a patient ID. Without these, the appointment cannot be set, right? Without any of, actually any of these four, the appointment will not be set. Same thing here, appointment will not be set. Uh, email has to be unique uh, because I use that, we use that to sign up, uh, sign in. So uh, we don't want to have conflicts where we have two different people having the same email address and signing up and having some sort of trouble um, where they're able to view each other's pages and stuff. So we did that. Uh, appointments showed you, showed your views. Yeah. Okay. So I like here I could probably add uh, the back. Um, Link. I need to. Oh, my patient showed you that. A session new showed you that. Mm, I think. Uh, yep. I think that's about it. I hope you like my Rails project. Um, pretty sure I could add a lot more. I could probably add another. I want to try to keep it simple for now, but probably in the future, I might add uh, a loca locations uh, table, a joint table where uh, physicians usually nowadays can go to many, many locations and they can actually check um, different um, appointments at different locations. They, um, patients through appointments through locations. So uh, I, I definitely see how I can grow this uh, app. Uh, but for now, definitely keeping it, uh, trying to just meet the requirements of the project. Uh, hopefully you like it. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.